Guys, what do you do when you're in another country and the biggest movie of the summer comes out? You could wait or you could go see Endgame in Korea, which is what I did, and I got no problem telling y'all that. Uh-huh. Street food. Mega box. So Elisa told me we had to go to a movie while we were in town because we had to try Korean movie theater food. And snacks are what this show is about, so that junk is expensive. <laughs> the snack game at the movie theater is on point, let me just tell you. I charge it to my street food account. There's, there's no street food account. First up, buttered squid. Jinga. Like, I, I'm not exactly sure how to say it. I just said butter squid. <laughs> not very much, is it? No, I'm gonna order another one. This is a common movie theater snack in Seoul. Squid meat, tons of butter, breaded and fried. I don't know what you think squid tastes like, but in this version, it's a very nondescript meat. I mean, if you say it tastes like chicken, that's really cliche, right? But I think what that means is it's got a texture that's similar to fowl or whatever, and then it's got really mild meat flavor. I ate a ton of this. Squid at the movies. Now every time I think of Thanos, we're thinking about that butter squid. We also got some cheese balls. These were a little sweet. The stuffed pretzel thing wasn't really a pretzel, but there was a lot of cheese. Speaking of cheese, look, now is as good a time as any to say, Koreans are into cheese. Elisa was telling me that right now, the hip thing to do is to take like traditional Korean food and then cover it with cheese. I mean, more cheese sounds good to me. How about this? Cheese comes hot dog. It still says hot dog? Yeah, even though it has no hot dog. No hot dog, but no you still call it a hot dog. dog. It's cheese on a stick, breaded with french fries, and then deep fried. It's like a corn dog, but instead of a corn dog, it's cheese fries on a stick. What's the sauce situation? We got tomato, ketchup, we got chili. And then some people like to dip theirs, roll it in uh, sugar. So it depends on how you want to eat it. Oh, that's sugar. Guys, K- Korea has done it. Cheese fries on a stick. <laughs> this is amazing. I, I didn't know that I needed this, but obviously I did. I'll tell you this, when you see Endgame for the first time at the start of the day, and then you have a whole day of snacking ahead of you. I don't know if it's the best idea because a lot of the day we were spent traveling and I would just sit in there reliving the movie. We don't get to do this in China, so. We went to a pretty dope coffee shop called Fritz Coffee. I got a cold brew and we shared some gorgonzola toast. I'm saying China would not have had this, okay? Korea is crushing the bakery slash roastery biz. After that, we set out for this park. Yoidu is south of the Hangang River. This is not the only river park in Seoul, but this is the biggest one. And what you do is you go there and then you eat. It's like a picnic spot. There's usually all these aunties there trying to take your order to order some fried chicken. Okay, fried chicken's still big in the park scene. All the aunties work for a different fried chicken company and they're like, get ours, it's the best. I'll call it in for you. It turns out when we got there, the aunties have been replaced by a bulletin board, but Fried chicken, still huge. All of these people waiting in this tent trying to eat fried chicken. There must be some good fried chicken, okay. But Elisa and I were on a mission for a different kind of snack. Talking about instant noodles. In Chinese, you call these fang bian mian, uh, convenient noodles. But the thing now is they have this machine. It's like a one button instant noodle machine that makes your instant noodles for you. That's the thing you gotta try in the park. So that's what Elisa and I did. You buy your noodles, we got the superior flavor with the extra packets for maximum enjoyment. Then we waited in this half hour long line. So I'm not kidding, these noodle machines are so hot right now. You get up there and your dried stuff is already prepared. Like you put the powder and the veggies and whatnots on top of the noodles. And then you approach the machine, it adds the hot water, it boils it for a little bit, beeps when it's done, And that's it, you're off to the park. Enjoy your noodle picnic. And I gotta say, the premium noodles are worth the extra cents, okay? And the machine cooks it just right, so the texture of the noodles is good, it's not overcooked. I am an unabashed fan of instant noodles, and these are pretty good. Next to the water, out in the sun, and the park, and the people, life is good. Quick sidebar here, I just found this little noodle spot across the street from the campus where I teach. It's a self-service instant noodle counter thing. I figured, you know, let's compare this junk. So for this one, you enter what you want. You need a little Chinese for that, but there are pictures. 
then you pay with your phone, and then you wait. I don't know what is happening inside this machine, but you know what? You grab some chopsticks out of here, and then the door opens up, and out comes this hot bowl of noodles. It's like a freshly prepared bowl of noodles, and to be honest, for the same price, I could get a better quality bowl of noodles, much fresher, across the street, but this little spot is open 24 hours a day, supposedly. And these aren't bad. It's maybe like cafeteria level noodles. I was expecting them to be much worse. Okay, back to the park. We also spotted this thing, and Elisa was like, oh my gosh, you gotta try this. I used to have this when I was a kid. And I was like, Elisa, that is a giant pot of bugs. Bundegi. More specifically, these are silkworm pupas. Have you ever eaten a pupa before? Because I have now. What's the plural of pupa? Pupa. <laughs> pupas. Silkworm pupas. Pupas in the park. I can't believe I used to think these were delicious when I was little. Okay, it's a cross between a boiled peanut and like a like a cow's liver. <laughs> it's the mental hurdle. If you, if you have like a little bit of liver and a boiled peanut combined, basically that's what a silkworm pupa tastes like. Uh, that's a little weird <laughs> at the end. <laughs> you should take some to your kids. <laughs> like, Daddy brought you something. Who, who wants some bugs? I mean, I prefer them to octopus, but not by much. There are still a lot of classic Korean street food snacks that we have not tried, okay? But we got one more episode in Seoul. Come back for it. Until then, eat it on the street. Watch out for the parasite. Those pupas, yeah, watch out for them too. Street food. Season 2. How do you say original? Original hot dog. <laughs> really? Yeah. Original hot dog. Okay. So we were looking at these trucks, wondering what they were. First thing we saw, Steak. Aesthetics of waiting. What does that mean?